Welcome to part 12 of Dynasty Warriors 3. This battle that we're about to go to is supposed to be, I do believe, South Sal's last battle with Wu. Yeah, that's what it was supposed to be. South Sal's last battle with Wu. Because South Sal actually does play the stage. And if you're playing as Wu, this is only playable on free mode. So, with that said, we could actually get started with this stage. And this stage is actually a debut here, and I do believe it also shows up in Dynasty Warriors 8. Not to mention, this is where Sal Xu ends up falling for the fake defection of Zhou Fong. With that said, I want to actually make one quick statement. This will probably be the last Dynasty Warriors part you will hear my fan, if not if not part 13, so at least I got that out of the way, because I'm going to get a new fan by that time. Anyway, introduction. After driving back the Wu forces, Wei once again opens hostilities between the two nations. The Wu Viceroy Zhou Fang, finding seven faults with the Wu Kingdom, decides to join Wei and leads them to Wu. In 228, with Zhou Fang as a guide, the Wei army led by Cao Zhu makes its way toward Yoting. However, voices of doubt regarding the plot begin to rise throughout the Wei camp, including that of Sima Yi. Now, um, just to let you guys know, this battle may be longer than the others. Even though it's a 30-minute battle, just like the last couple, this one is going to be a little bit longer because Sumayi will force most of your officers to stay in position while you are the only one that's going to be moving around, taking out Wu soldiers. So yeah, without further ado, let's go on ahead and start the Battle of Yoting. Sima Yi. Sima Yi, couldn't this deception be a trick? I feel it in my blood. Zhou Fan. <laughs> Either way, it's okay. If it's true, good. If not, it will crush the enemy's plan. Anyway, let's put him to work. <laughs> Now, as I said before, this battle is practically a race of time. Until we again, our order. you have 30 minutes to win this battle. And, dare I say, this battle can be tedious. And for many reasons. For one, you're going to be fighting all by your lonesome because all the officers are going to be standing hey, their ground strong. not doing Take anything on. until they actually do make a move and more importantly, uh, Zhou Fang is exposed as a traitor. Which the only way that'll happen is all of the officers are defeated. Except for Sun Xuan. He'd be the only one left. So... <clears throat> We're just going to go on ahead and start offing officers left and right. I do believe the only Musa officers you have to worry about are the Kiao sisters, Da Kao and Xiao Kao, and also um, Lu Bu. Those are the only people you need to worry about. I mean, you, June, sorry, why did I say you? I don't know you. Well, well, them and also, uh, Su Xuan, I almost forgot about him, because he is actually the, uh, commanding officer, and obviously he's gonna have high morale. But, the point is, we're gonna have to go from left to right, trying to stop all of these officers from encroaching your base. The moment one of them remotely crosses that bridge, Zhou Feng will turn traitor, and that's when things get terrible. Because once he turns a traitor, then uh, <clears throat> he will be heading straight over to Sumer Yi's 
uh, area, which would mean you would have to double back and actually stop him from pulling that off. And whatever wolf soldiers are left, then I you would have to officer. go on an all-out war zone with the wolf soldiers as they are charging your camp one at a time, if not all of them. So in other words, killing all these officers as quickly as humanly possible is a good thing. And yeah, you are practically fighting troops, as well as the officers themselves, because even though the officers fall, the troops don't just disappear like talking about it, or run away. Oh, they're gonna fix that problem in the floor. Just you wait, you're gonna make, and they're gonna make you wish, they're gonna make you Stand wish you actually did run away. Reinforcements come. <laughs> And while we're fighting off the uh, new forces, you might want to actually deal with so, the uh, new forces getting to um, Sao Xu's position. Because once they burn that uh, stronghold down, everything goes straight to hell. And you're desperately trying to save Sao Sh I mean, Su Xuan from an oncoming attack from enemies. Hmm, another army. So yeah, the Xiao sisters have showed up. It's time to defeat them. Well, I'm gonna go to the left first, and then I'm gonna go to the right. But more importantly, I don't lose to I'm gonna have to do whatever I can to keep we can't I mean, Sao Sao and Sumi Yi from being defeated. And I keep looking into the menu because, again, we're on a 30 minute Is this time end? Ooh, I got a good weapon. Nice. Master. And by this time, you probably would start getting level 2 weapons by now. I defeated an officer. I'll be grabbing this horse and head over to the other side since I took out most of the officers there. Now, here is another thing that I forgot to mention. Uh, oh, wow, I just lost someone on my side. That That's not cool. I was trying to say something and that happened. And now Gao Chao's got some um, morale because of it, but as I was saying, there's only a limited amount of... Um, Guard captains on this stage for the enemy. I am not afraid of You're gonna anything. have to go into Sun Xuan's base to get all of the guard captains that are there. Because quite frankly, you have an overwhelming amount out here. I'm gonna say the guard captains because they are actually important, and more importantly, no. The guard captains I'm will very, stop your troops from being ambushed. Sorry. Now let's see if I can break through the middle and make sure that everything will be all right. Because once I deal with the middle, um, all of the Wu forces would have been demobilized, and the Wei forces would all be short charging um, Sun Xuan. So and that's what I want to happen. The chances are it's not. Alright. Let's see. I know there's some few officers here. Because they have some really highlighting the uh, glowing portions on the map. Which, although it does indicate a battle, it may also indicate that an enemy is nearby. And I was wrong. It's on the other side of this area. Oh yeah, I almost forgot, Su Sheng Zhang was one of those people. And, uh, I do believe she was supposed to have, uh, died by this time in the actual story, but apparently not. Ooh, got an item. Awesome. Let's just hop on this horse and 
proceed to this other side of the path because the other side was a uh, big circle. So let's get Zhu Huan and chop down his HP because once Zhang Shen, Cheng Zhen just get involved in this battle, things are going to get worse. I defeated an officer. Well, at least I got uh, the officer out of the way. I just want to weaken uh, San Zhang for some reason. Uh, soon, Zhang Zhang, for every reason in the world, because of the fact that, yes, she may have a uh, playable Dynasty Warriors debut on Dynasty Warriors 3, but she does have the chakrams and she has the long range advantage, which is something no Dynasty Warrior should have, but she does. I'm not saying that because it's against the rules, I'm Don't saying that because, because I'm a woman. well, <clears throat> having a long range uh, advantage over some enemies is all well and good, but if they duck you and get up close to you, well, that'll just screw you over. Not just that, oh, I just got finished defeating her. I do not want to die. I don't want her going oh, on her little rampage with her chakrams. Because yes. before she started getting a weapon change in Dynasty Warriors 6, officer. those chakrams were the bane of everyone's existence. At least in this level. It's not that she's all strong and stuff. It's the fact that um, Su Sheng Zhang has a lot of speed to work with. And also, she naturally has a high charge attack. I shall show you that I can fight like Oh look, my I'm, I'm over here in the Wu Supreme Commander right now. But yeah, she was a rather dangerous enemy to deal with. And speaking of a rather dangerous enemy to deal with, I've heard about you. This should be fun. We got two of them. Sun Xuan and Lu Xu. I, I did say that I was going to have to deal with these guys. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to deal with these guys. As best as I possibly can. Because now I am surrounded by two officers with high morale. And that just pretty much spells disaster. Well, disaster for my troops, that is. Hey, but it looks like we're actually making progress. We're gonna win. We're gonna do this. Cause uh, switch win. We that have no. What could possibly go wrong? Splendid. Okay, I got him. Oh! Let's turn the tables on. We almost got switch win. Yeah, he's almost dead. Come on. We got this! We got this! Oh shit! And he healed! Son of a bitch! Aren't I missing someone? Oh right, Wu Zhu! Where's his ass? But it doesn't matter. I think we got uh, Su Xuan now. And oh crap! Turn around, you idiot! Turn around! Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. I don't want to be dying. I don't want to. Oh, Joe crap. Vaughn is an enemy spy. The person who brings me his head shall be rewarded. The glory is ours. Allow no officers ahead. And. Just like that, Zhou Feng has been exposed as a traitor. So now we're gonna have to go back to the reencampment and stop. Oh god, I am almost dead. Crap, crap, crap. I need help. I need help badly. That was Lu Jun, so I could kill him too. 
or at least get myself some more health. So at least I'll stand a chance. You will crush that. <laughs> but now Suma Yi's getting involved. Since he has switched sides, and Wu is already on the attack. I do oh, by the way, Suma Jin, right here. Gotta kill him. Make sure you kill him. Yeah, like I said, now that uh, we must be triumphant. Zhou Fang switched sides. It's now in your best interest to actually uh, go after him. But I have to fight my way out of this encampment. Not to mention, make sure that Sun Chuan doesn't follow me, because he will. He's killed my bodyguard! Asshole! And he went up to full health! Oh, and he gave himself a buff too! No! Oh, well at least his morale is dropping. That's good. Oh god, he's killed another bodyguard! Wait, he's killed three of them already! Oh, Lu Xu was defeated by Xu Guang? Well, that's messed up! Great! J just great! So I missed the guy I was supposed to kill, and unfortunately, uh, Sun Chuan is killing my bodyguards! And me too! Yeah, I'm gonna hop on a mirror's horse and I'm gonna retreat. I'm being murdered here. At least I'll stand a chance against Xiu Feng. Kinda have to, because if I don't, I'm assuming he dies, that's the end of the mission! And, uh, I know you guys don't want me to go over a 16 minute it is not uh, romp throughout this mission so far. Oh, by the way, dim sum, take some, go. Let's see. Oh, there's an empty box here with some stuff in it. Oh, arrows, really? That's just cheap. Let's go. Let's go and help our friends in need, because Suma Yi is not right now fighting that traitor right in the midst of his hideout. And it's done, folks. We just need to kill him and kill Sun Xuan, but by that time, I do believe the officers that are already there may have been uh, doing a number on him right now. Yeah, an eye am in way low health. This right here is suicide, if this was on a higher difficulty. But I managed to save myself at least. That's a good one. Just need to keep chopping him up, and there goes Xiu Fei. And I got another weapon. I really didn't need another weapon. I probably would have needed an upgrade in attack. Whatever the case, my allies should be coming down south dealing with, uh, Su Xuan as he is in the middle of a battle with several officers that are already down there. Oh, thank God. Sustenance. Okay, that's enough for me to actually deal with him. I'll just kill his troops and make sure they drop some more. I mean, I can't really make any promises on that, but... We just need to cross the bridge one last time, and this time it'll be for- Ooh! Full health! Thank you! Anyway, this time it'll be for good. Because everybody's going to be pushing down south, even the main commander. Who's standing right there doing nothing right now. <clears throat> but he'll teleport there, don't you worry. Let's see. How much damage has anybody has done to him? Probably not that much. <coughs> yeah, considering everything that he just did to me, and a couple of my bodyguards got killed by him, not that much. I think he wasted all of my bodyguards. That sucks. Ugh, excuse me. Oh wait, they actually have some people fighting him. 
Ooh. Xiang He actually got him down to like 15% of health. <coughs> and of course, he tries to counter with a Musao. And the asshole won the clash. That's okay. We got this. We're gonna win this time. We're not gonna retreat. No surrender, because there's no time left, basically. It has already been uh, 20 minutes, so technically, if you take away uh, 5 due to the introduction, I'd say we have more than half time left. So I need to take him down real quickly. Alright. I just need to take advantage of all the spots that he has open, and also all the officers that are there, and that's it! We have defeated Sun Xuan. This one's a rather tedious one, to say the least. I think there was an item that had something to do with, uh, the defection of Zhou Fang. I'll put it in the description below if I can't figure it out right here. But for the most part, we got ourselves a couple of items that we won't be needing because we got the level 3 sword. So yeah, I won't be starting over on a brand new, or should I say a weaker sword than what I got right now. But that one's for dupe. Ooh! Suddenly I'm happy now! Yay! Randomization actually came to my favor and it upgraded a weapon, so at least it's not a total loss. I did, however, take a penalty because all but one of my bodyguards were dead. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, we are done with this episode. Next time, we're going to Tong Gate to deal with some other defectors. This is RVMan985. See you guys next time.